What up, everybody? What up? What up? What up? I am bringing this video video to you today because people were asking me about my screens and the screens that I did in previous videos about changing the MetaQuest resolution, the render resolution. Now, of course, it's not that hard to find. You know, first things first, you got to make sure you have the app downloaded, the MetaQuest app, like you see on the screen right there. Once you got that downloaded, you got to make sure you have a MetaQuest headset. That really helps. Make sure that you got uh, uh, either MetaQuest 2, MetaQuest 3. Either one of these is going to display what I'm going to show you. It's going to be a real quick video, right? So if you're using a MetaQuest for PC VR, because this only works for PC VR, regular uh, VR games, won't even. this won't even apply to them. If your games look blurry and don't feel as smooth as they should, this is probably why. See, the MetaQuest app has a few settings most people never touch, and they can make a big difference if you set them up right. All right, so first, just like I got up there now, you open up your MetaQuest app on your PC. Now, this is my PC. This is not on uh, Xbox or anything else. Or I don't know. This is only for the PC. All right, click on the Devices tab. See that right there? That's the Devices tab. Open that, and this is what's going to pop up. Then click on the Headset Picture. Bam! From there, go to Graphics Preference. And see, if you, it's right here. Graphics. So if you just got to scroll down, so this is how it's going to come up. Just like this. You got your Quest 3 microphone. That's the volume of your microphone and your headset. And your Quest 3 headphones. That's for you to hear. So you, you can speak in your Quest 3, you can hear in your Quest 3, you can record everything from your Quest 3, really. You don't even have to use a PC to record your games, but I use my, my PC now to record my games. But I'm telling you, you got to have a high-end PC to do that. I know this for a fact. All right. You can hear VR audio from the computer. I don't have that uh, on because then it gives me a double sound. So I'll hear from the computer and I'll hear from my headset and it just sounds funny. You can hear co computer audio in VR. And then here's your graphics preference. All right. This is where the important stuff, the important stuff lives, right? The render resolution controls how sharp the image is before it's sent to your headset. Higher resolution means a clearer image, but it also puts more strain on your PC. I know this because I kept trying to figure out why come my PC kept crashing. My PC wasn't strong enough, even though I had a very good PC. If y'all remember, y'all go back to some of my older videos and y'all see the specs in the description. That was a monster PC for that uh era i would say because i was working on an am4 platform and i was i boosted it up as high as i could get without buying that uh x3d chip if i would have had an x3d 3d chip i'm sure it would have been better uh because you know that's one of the top of lines you can buy all right so by default this is set to automatic right here normally let me click it open it's normally set to automatic right here i changed it I up my screen a little bit, you know. Uh, I don't go too high and too crazy. I still use the recommended 72 hertz, although most of the time it recommends you use 90 hertz. So if you want to get rid of like those black, uh, those stuttering times and moments, increase this before you increase this. I suggest just trying it on different games and see, you know, where where you could push the level at before it looks stupid, right? So by default, this is set to automatic. You can switch it to custom and raise the slider, but you don't. But don't just max it out. Increase it a little at a time, like mine. See, I increased it to here. So you could just do this, and look how high you can go. That's a that resolution is ridiculous. <laughs> but I try to stay around here, right? So you don't want to push it too high, right? You start seeing stutters, lag, and even crashes, and the image can actually look worse before it looks better. So if you go too high, like I pushed it up here one time, and I could run it somewhere around there, but I tried up here. No, it was messing up big time. So I try to keep it somewhere around there. Maybe I'll do here, you know? 
And I, I think I'm going to leave it right there just to see. Wait a minute. Where did the picture go? Oh, so every time, <laughs> let me tell you this. Every time you change that, it's going to restart. It's what's going to happen. It's going to restart. Okay. So be prepared for that or else you're going to be just like what I just did. What happened to the screen? So every time you change that, that's what happens. So let's go back into it. So we're back in there. As you can see, it, it, it has it right there. Now, I can also change the refresh rate. Now check this out. The refresh rate controls how smooth the motion feels in VR. So the refresh rate is, is, is trying to catch up. It's trying to keep everything fluid, right? A higher refresh rate feel better, but they also demand more from your system. So if you don't have a high-end PC, do not try to go up here. I don't care what you think you got. You got an AM5 texture. You know, you got a high-end X3D card uh, processor in there with a high-end um, video card. A lot of RAM. You probably could push that. Right now, I can't push it. I tried it. It doesn't work for me. It just crashes a lot. So for most people, 90 hertz is a sweet spot, but I still recommend somewhere around there. Maybe 80 hertz. But if you increase that, I don't recommend increasing this. So I will drop that back down. Up oh, is going to restart again. And we're back. So it restarted again because I did cut it down. Because if I go up on here, which is going to make it run smoother, this is just going to make it look better. Now, even with here, it looks great. Even there, it looks great. It runs good. But if you really want to run smoother, you got to adjust these two. You got to figure out where it is in there and get that sweet spot, right? Now, only 20... Now, so if you if you if you do increase this, make sure that you, you know, you, you, you test it out. And if you see any stutters or anything like that, just drop it back down. It'll be easy. Now, if you change these settings and nothing happens, you're not crazy because I'm going to tell you, Meta is finicky with a lot of systems. Sometimes this app doesn't save properly or the Meta update resets things. And, you know, we've been having a lot of Meta updates lately. Make sure you restart both your headset on your PC and your PC. Reset both of them because sometimes my headset act funny and my PC act funny. And so I got to figure out which one is doing what. I just reset both up, man. Also, double check your settings after updates. Make sure they do like the change on their own. So sometimes or even after some kind of update, these will revert all the way back down to here. I'll go into ATS and it looks funny. And I'm like, why does it look so funny? I have to reset everything. Sometimes even ATS and ETS, you have to reset. And I'm strictly, I'm strictly speaking on them because those are what I play. Some of the games I play. But I know a lot of y'all come to my channel just to know about those games right there. All right. So common problems to watch for if your screen goes black you see double images or performance tanks your settings are probably too high you didn't put this all the way up over here you didn't put this all the way up over there it ain't working now i'm gonna tell you take my advice small steps because if you mess up your pc don't come to me do not come to me what i used to do I used to watch other YouTubers, and they'll do the extreme. Then I do the extreme. Now I got to reset my PC. You know what I'm saying? I got to reset my PC because I watch them. So I learned. Take baby steps. Don't go to the extreme. They don't care. They already got their high-end stuff. All right. So an important note to make is that these settings only are for PC VR, right? Not for regular VR that you see through your Oculus. This is only for your PC connected to your VR. Standalone, standalone Quest games don't use these sliders. And if you're using something like Virtual Desktop, it has its own resolution settings. And if y'all go back to some of my videos, y'all will see what I recommend y'all do. Don't touch nothing. 
because you will mess it up <laughs> and you'll end up resetting your PC like I did. Don't do it. I'm telling you now. Baby steps. Baby steps. All right, so let's wrap this up. These settings can seriously improve your VR experience. I'm telling you, it'll make it look good, but it's not magic. Your PC, your connection, your MetaQuest software updates all still matter. So everything works together. Now remember, you still got to have your link cable connected to your computer. You still got to have that. Now you can do it through AirLink, but AirLink itself takes up so much bandwidth while you're doing that and you're trying to run it really high, I don't recommend it. I recommend you get you a nice cable and cables on cheap. They're not those little cheap $20 cables either. I'm talking about the, you know, the $100, $150 cables that you run from your MetaQuest 3 to your computer. Now I have one. If y'all want the same one I got in my description, I've been using this since day one. It's my day one go-to. It not only keeps it charged 100%, it also lets me connect to the computer so I'll never have to un unplug it. It's always been plugged up. My Quest my Quest 2 always been plugged up. I never have to unplug it, but I do unplug it if it's a, you know, I'm not going to play it for a long time. All right. So, so make sure that you know that your PC, your connection and your MetaQuest software updates, they all still matter. So if this helped, drop a comment with the settings you're running and if you're on a Quest 2 or a Quest 3. Don't really matter too much. The screens may vary. All right, everybody, I am out. I'm going to cut this short because I didn't want to go into all this. I just wanted to let y'all know, you know, how you could change little things. If you want a, a, a virtual desktop run through, you gonna have to look at some of my other videos because I can't even run virtual desktop no no more. And I'm wondering, is it because my processor chip is so good now, so good that it doesn't run virtual desktop? It immediately crashes. So I don't know. So I can't help you with virtual desktop no more. You can look at my older videos. They got some virtual desktop stuff in it. All right, everybody, please leave a comment in the in the in the box down below and let me know what you're doing. I'm going to go play some ATS. I'm out. Peace.